Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be installing a hideaway LED strobe kit from Strobes Amore. Let's check it out. Now this one's going to go on a Honda CRV and what makes this a hideaway kit, the light is actually inside of the reverse bezel right there. So all you have are two bolts, one here and then one down here. Take those bolts out and then the whole brake light assembly comes out. Just like that. Now once you get the bolts out, you can pull it all out together. You can expose the wires. Now as you can see down here at the bottom, this right here is the kit that I installed. That's the, the back side of the LED light. So all I did was take the whole assembly off so I can put it on the floor and drill a hole in it. I had a one inch hole saw drill bit because the LED portion that actually goes into the bezel is one inch. And it comes with these screws, drill the hole, in the bezel, put the light in place, it comes with these two screws, self-tapping screws, screws into the plastic, holds it in place. And then I simply drilled a hole into the rubber grommet so it would be nice and tight and sealed from the outside. Then I left a little bit of slack for when I have to change bulbs out, I can pull it out. But the rest of it just goes down in there. And if you look around the other side, just like I showed before, you can see the LED inside there. And the reason why I did that in the Reverse light bezel is because a lot of times when a wife's delivering the mail, she'll turn on her hazard lights. That way these will be in addition to the hazard lights, but also when she wants to use the blinker, she'll have the blinker all on its own and she'll be able to leave the strobe lights on and use a blinker at the same time. And it doesn't affect the brake lights, the running lights or any of that. And the next thing I did was I took all this loose, this whole panel here, take this bottom piece out that exposes this take your carpet out where your spare tire is you'll be able to pull all this all this it just pulls out you know how the clips they can get kind of aggravating but the wire comes in here and then i pull this loose all this plastic all up under the headliner and this uh weather stripping you can actually just go ahead and pull it right out to get it out of your way and i ran the wire all the way over here over to this side and the same thing over here you can see the LED inside there. That wire also comes through just like I showed on the other side. It comes into here to the flasher and then both lights will plug directly into the flasher. So now what I gotta do is I gotta route this power wire. We're gonna put the switch down here in the bottom of the dash where my wife can still get to it, but it's not gonna be in the way. A 10 millimeter. Take out these little luggage hooks. Here's the flasher with the wires exposed. I went ahead and ordered a 20 foot section to make sure I had enough of the actual wire from Strobes and More. And I'm going to solder all this wire straight up to it. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this wire inside here. I'm gonna go on the bottom all the way across where the plastic molding meets the carpet all the way to the front of the car. So now that I've got the wire run all the way to the front, I've got the center console, which was right there in between the two front seats. It sits right there in the front like this. What my plan is, you can see you have a power outlet right here. Got a connector in the back. The wires are sticking out over there. I'm gonna take the switch for the strobe lights. I'm gonna drill two holes through this piece of plastic here. I'm gonna have this switch mounted inside of here nice and out of the way where my wife can get to it and how it works turn the power on and then the pattern my wife will be able to change the pattern whatever pattern she wants by clicking this momentary switch just like that of course all the wires i'm gonna drill another hole back here and all the wires are going to feed right back through there feed right back 
to the back side of this power outlet. So what we got up to this point is our switch is mounted. This is our power switch. That's for the different patterns. We have a hole in the back and our wire is coming out. We have the black wire going to ground. We got one wire, which is a red wire, which is going through the power wire all the way back to the lights. Then you have this power wire, which is gonna have to go to 12 volts, which I'm gonna hook it to the power supply right back here. Then a blue wire, this is the remote wire. And what this does, is whenever you hit this momentary switch, that's what's gonna tell it, the uh, flasher, to change pattern. All this comes with full instructions, how to wire it up. Of course, it's gonna be different for every vehicle. But that's how I'm gonna wire this one up. They also have instructional videos on their website. Looks like it works pretty good to me. And now with the flashers on, The strobes are quite a bit brighter than the regular hazard lights, and it still gives her the ability to be able to use blinkers. And you can change patterns. Well, we've come to the end of another job well done the Stanley way, and I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. I'll try to answer it. Have a great day.